Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this mercury clone effect in Natron, so let's get right into it. Alright, first I'm going to press R to add a read node, select the clip that I want to use and hit 1 to open it in the viewer, and since the clip was shot in 25 FPS, let's open the project settings and set the frame rate value to 25. Ok, so to make this effect you'll need to mask out your subject, and unfortunately Natron doesn't have any AI masking tools like Fusion or After Effects, so what you could do is use a roto node and do manual rotoscoping frame by frame, but let's be honest that would be a very time consuming process, so what we're going to do instead is use Caden Life to generate a mask, and then we'll bring that mask into Natron to create our effect. So let's open Caden Live, and the first thing that you want to do is go to settings and select configure Caden Live. Then navigate to plugins and from there go to the object detection tab. Here you can get the AI masking plugin by simply clicking on this install button and waiting for a couple of minutes. Once the plugin has installed, you can close the window and import your clip. Drag the clip into your timeline, go to the effects stack and click this button right here that says generate an object mask. Next, click on this plus icon to enter mask mode and then go to the viewer and while holding the left mouse button, draw a rectangle around your subject. This red area is the part of the clip that is going to be masked and as you can see the plugin did a pretty good job, so let's navigate to the sidebar and click this red button to generate a mask. Alright, the mask has been generated, so let's click this button to apply it to the clip and see how it looks. Well, it's not perfect, you can see parts of the background here and there, and that's because the color of the wall is similar to the lady's skin, but it's good enough for what we're going to make, and at least we don't have to do this manually. Before we export this mask, let's just slightly blur the edges so it doesn't look so rough. Go to the effects window, select alpha mask and king, and apply the alpha operations effect to the clip. Next, change the operation mode to blur, and bring the value of blur amount down to something like 50. As you can see now the mask looks a bit less jarring. Finally, let's go to the project tab in the top menu and click render. Make sure to select the alpha MOV preset, choose a name for the output video and hit render to file. As you can see the rendering has just finished, so we can now close Caden Life and go back to Natron. Let's add another read node to import the masked clip. And now that we have the mask of our subject, we can start working on the effect. First, hit M on your keyboard to add a merge node, and then connect its A input to the masked clip. Next, hold Ctrl and click on this yellow point here to add a dot. Drag it up like this, and then add one more dot and put it over the merge node. Next, grab the B input of the merge node and connect it to the masked clip as well. Now add another merge node, connect it to your clip, and then pipe its A input to merge one. Let's also select the merge nodes and move them to the right to make some space for new effects. Alright, now go to the toolbar, click on the very last icon, and from the transform submenu select the roll effect, hold control and connect it to the masked clip like this. And now when you go to the properties panel, you can control the clone's position by moving the X slider. Let's reset the value to 0, then move your playhead to frame 1, and set a keyframe for the X parameter. Next, go to the last frame and set the X value to the width of your video multiplied by 5. I'm using an HD clip, so in my case it's 5 times 1920. I'm also going to add a minus here because I want the clone to move in the opposite direction. Now when I start the playback, you'll see that we get this clone sliding across the screen. We're going to add some motion blur to make it look better. Make sure that the roll effect is selected, then open the node selection menu and search for directional blur. Next, go to the properties panel, set the value of X translation to something like 30 and tick the checkbox that says centered. Go to the middle of your clip and set a keyframe for translation. Then go to the very first frame of your project, set the value to 0 and finally go to the last frame and set the value to 0 as well. Let's start the playback and take a look at what we have so far. Now we're going to adjust the animation curves to make the movement more dynamic. So what I'm going to do is split the properties panel like this and then I'm going to open the curve editor in this empty space. Alright, let's select the animation graph for the roll effect, select all the keyframes with Ctrl A and hit H to smooth out the graph, then double click on the graph to add new point and drag its handles to form this S-like shape. Next, open the curve for the blur effect and press F to fit the graph to the size of your window. Once again, we're going to smooth out the graph and then we're going to add two more points and adjust them like this so that the curve looks kind of like a bell. Now I'm going to start the playback, and as you can see we get this cool clone effect that you can find in some music videos, and now we're going to take it a step further by adding a mercury wave in the background. Let's start by moving some of these nodes up to make room for new effects, then disconnect the foreground from merge 2 and add another merge node, grab its A input and pipe it to merge 1, then connect the mask clip as a background, and finally merge everything over the background clip. I'm also going to hold Ctrl and add one more dot here to stay organized. Alright, now you want to go to the toolbar and add a hue correct node. Hold Ctrl and add it to your node graph like this, then press 1 to open it in the viewer. 
So now I'm going to open the hue curve, select some of these warm colors and offset these points to change the color of this clone. I think I'll go with something like purple. Next, make sure to select the hue correct node, open the node selection menu and search for glow. Hit enter to add it to your node graph. Then go to the properties panel and drag the isolate highlights slider all the way down. Then you can adjust the glow effect to your liking by playing with these sliders. Once you're done, navigate to the toolbar and add the gimmick crease effect to your node graph. Move the playhead to the middle of your timeline, then set the value of amplitude to something like 50 and set a keyframe. Set the frequency value to 6, then go to the beginning of your timeline and change the amplitude value to 0 and then do the same at the last frame of your project. Once again, go to the properties panel, open the advanced options and tick this checkbox that says animate random seed. Ok, let's open the entire composition in the viewer to preview the effect. And by the way, if your machine is having trouble with playback, you can enable proxy mode in the viewer. But anyway, here's what we've got so far. Now make sure to select the crease node, navigate to the toolbar and add the gimmick circle transform effect. Let's also disable some of the foreground nodes by selecting them and pressing D. Go to the properties panel and move the X and Y scale sliders to adjust the look of your effect. Once you're happy with how it looks, change the symmetry mode to outside. Make sure that the playhead is in the middle of your timeline and set keyframes for X and Y scale parameters. Then go to the first frame of your project, change both values to zero and finally do the same at the very end of your timeline. Alright, let's enable the foreground nodes with D, then select the animation curves for circle transform and smooth them out with H. And yeah, that's basically all, so let's take a look at the final effect. So anyway, if you have any questions or requests for future tutorials, feel free to post them in the comments below. And if it's something that I know I can do, I might make a video on that. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.